Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg with a review of the SwitchyZ Capsule Classic. Now as the name suggests, this is a case for the iPod Classic. It has been out for quite a long time and in fact this is SwitchyZ's old case or old packaging material. And if we look at the top you can actually see reference to the 120 gigabyte iPod Classic and of course there has been a 160 gigabyte iPod Classic released since then. And uh, this will fit both models. I have the 120 gig version, so this will definitely fit that. And the reason I'm getting this much later than I probably should have is because I have this really crummy case on here. So let me just peel this off and you can see what I'm talking about. So there we go, we have this horrible silicone case and that's going right in the garbage. Now here's the classic. Viewers of my videos may know this is the subject of my very first uh, YouTube video, so uh, we're finally getting back to this and giving it a proper case. Now let's take a quick look around the packaging itself. You can see it's actually a slider style case, so this slides together and I'll show you once I get it out of the package. Here we have the accessory box, so inside you get some dock adapters which fit the case. You have two, or actually three anti-static protective membranes, so two for the screen, one for the back. We also have two for the uh, touch wheel. There's a dock connector protector, a microfiber wipe, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. Now the material they use is the GE Lexon material, so it's designed to withstand a lot of abuse. So let's go ahead and rip into it. So here we have the goodie box. And sandwiched between all this plastic is the case somewhere. There we go. So here we have the case, and inside, if we just pull this apart, is the extras that we get. So we should have the screen protectors in here. We have the microfiber cloth. We have the Capsule Classic installation guide. And we have the screen shields. So we have one for the back. So this helps to protect it from being scratched. And then we have two for the click wheel. Helps it from wearing out. This is actually very useful because a click wheel, because it's a matte plastic, does actually start to uh, wear out and look shiny. And we have two for the glass front uh, screen. And inside the cardboard, you have a little more information, including installation and your parts inventory. Now, assembly is a simple matter. Of course, this is the top back piece that lines up with the uh, lock switch and headphone jack. And then we have the front piece, which slides on. There you go, it actually slides on over the uh, aluminum faceplate, the front plate, They're kind of, the rails kind of slide along the edge of that. I'm not sure I like that too much because it will probably scratch the edge. Uh, but once it's on, it's, it's nice and secure. So there we go, we have a very discreet case. It doesn't look like it's fitting entirely, there we go. So there we have it. We have a very clear low profile case. It doesn't really show itself too much. You do see the Switch Easy logo on the back. The rest of it is pretty well exposed and that's what I wanted. I wanted a case that didn't really hide the look of the iPod at all. You can see the seams are very tight. They fit perfectly. I don't see any gaps or any ill-fitting parts. Well, there's plenty of room to operate the hold switch. Plenty of room for the headphone jack. For your dock connector. And that's about all. And of course the click wheel is exposed, but the glass itself is covered. So inside the box we have the dock adapter, which fits the case. We have the 3.5 millimeter headset jack adapter. Now you may need this if your headset jack didn't fit with this case. So far all of the headsets I use fit just fine without this. Inside we also have the dock connector protector, and this is actually a different material than what's used with the case, but it is a clear plastic. So if we put that on, so if we put that on, it does a very good job sealing the dock from dust, moisture, etc. But it doesn't quite match the case, but that's understandable because you probably wouldn't want to use a hard plastic plug in here. Once again, I'm very happy with what I see from Switch Easy. It's a very low profile case, it does nothing to obscure the iPod itself. Uh, but like all clear cases, they are prone to scratching. In fact, you can see uh, the scratch pattern back here from sliding around on the table. The only other concern I have is that this case is very hard to remove. It's very tight fitting. It fits uh, next to each other very well so there's nothing to grab onto. The only other problem I see here is the fact that this case is very tight fitting. Uh, so it's very hard to pry apart. Uh, so if you want to take this on and off this definitely isn't the case you're going to want to buy. 
And I wouldn't want to take this on and off because these parts slide over the iPod, uh, I'm sorry, iPod Classic. So that means uh, every act of sliding this over the iPod may inflict some scratching. Uh, the front piece actually doesn't really touch the iPod itself. It just slides on the edge, the aluminum edge of the faceplate. So it doesn't really slide on the chrome back piece at all. Uh, so that's reassuring. I don't think this is actually scratching it when it's making contact. Uh, but if you are concerned about scratching your iPod Classic, this may not be the case for you. I would avoid sliders uh, altogether if you don't want to risk scratching your iPod at all. Now, the protectors are also very nice, especially these click wheel protectors, which I will be installing once I get this case off. I won't be using this be uh, these screen protectors because the, gla uh, the, the uh, screen is actually glass, so it's very scratch resistant. But the back certainly isn't scratch resistant, so I will be using this. Unfortunately, this doesn't really protect the edges and it's kind of hard to protect the edges of the iPod Classic because they're rounded. Uh, and that's where I think uh, the scratching is going to happen, at least with this case. When you slide it around, it's actually sliding around toward the side of the uh, iPod. Uh, this will just protect the back of it. And once it's in the case, it's not really prone to scratching. But there you go, that's some extra protection for your iPod Classic. So there you go guys, that's a look at the Sweet Cheesy Capsule Classic. This is Detroit Borg, thanks for watching.